What up, YouTube? G Fred Lady here once again, and tonight's video is basically a mini minor review of The Dark Knight Rises, you know, um, and just my opinion on how it stack up with the other superhero movies that have come out previously in the summer, you know. So let's jump right into it. You know, um, I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to get, I don't know if I'm going to get a lot of hate from this or not, but. To me, keep in mind, to me, the movie seemed very boring, very stale. <laughs> I mean, it, it just seemed like it was very slow-paced, you know. Um, and it's kind of weird, you know. It, it, it was very weird, you know. Um, you Y'all know, if you watch my videos, y'all know how I hate origin movies because I hate how they show um, the normal person, um, the person's true identity, um, more than the superhero, you know, in the movie and shit like that, and I don't like how that is, I mean, like, like a, like a, um, Spider-Man movie that's just starting off, and they're showing more Peter Parker than Spider-Man, or how they did Thor, you know, when Thor, um, lost his powers, and he spent more time as a normal human than, um, having his powers and shit, y'all know I hate shit like that, superhero movies that lack superheroes, you know, um, y'all know how I hate that shit, um, this movie definitely fell into that category. I mean, goddamn. That movie should have been called Bruce Wayne. I mean, he spent a... I'm not... Keep in mind, I'm not even exaggerating. The movie was three hours, and he spent a good two and a half hours as Bruce Wayne. And he spent a good two and a half hours as Bruce Wayne. I'd say each Batman appearance lasted about maybe 10 to 15 minutes, and it was like three Batman appearances on a whole movie, you know, the first, I mean, and that was about it, you know, um, so it was very slow paced, a lot of talking, um, a lot of, it was, it drug, it was dragging on so much that people in the theater stopped caring, people in the theater started talking on the phone, started playing words with friends and shit, <laughs> they started having conversation, some people was booing the movie, how, how slow it was going, it was so many people that just, <laughs> some people walked out, some people like an hour and a half walked, just walked out, didn't come back. You know, and I was like, damn, <laughs> you know, like, that's how slow this movie is. Like, if you walking into this thinking it's going to be anywhere near as good as um The Dark Knight, the 2008 movie, you will be disappointed. This movie is a very, it, it, it goes at a snail's pace, you know. But getting past that, though, um, how I feel about the villain Bane, um, I feel like... Bane, I feel like Bane was one of the brighter parts of the movie. Um, I feel like he did his job as a villain. He terrorized people. He did his job. He was a pretty scary dude. You know, um, not scary as Joker, because Joker, I mean, not in my opinion, Joker was still scarier because he was psychotic. But this dude, he did, he did a pretty um good job too. Just he, he terrorized people. Like there was a couple scenes in it where I was like, whoa, you know, this guy means business. He's this is. <laughs> this is a um, good villain right here, you know. Um, so kudos to his performance. I have no issues with Bane as a villain, but everything else surrounding Bane, even just Batman, just oh my god, it was so it, it was such a lackluster. It was, uh, I mean, it was it was I I don't know. It was very slow. Like I said, it was sad because by the end of the movie. People booed that shit. I mean, it was a couple people clapping at it, and but a lot of people booed that shit. I was like, wow, you know. I mean, the movie didn't get good until the last half hour. The last half hour, you know, that's when the redeeming features started coming in. A lot of action-packed stuff started happening, you know. Um, but anything before that, <laughs> don't expect... um. Nothing, <laughs> some super action-packed shit right away. It's not that kind of movie. It's no Avengers, you know. Um, in my opinion, um, it's it's not it's not good as the Avengers. The Avengers is so far is still my favorite superhero movie of the summer. Spider-Man is number two. Don't get me. I mean, don't get me wrong. I didn't like the Amazing Spider-Man that much. The Amazing Spider-Man 
the Amazing Spider-Man was okay to me. It was okay. It wasn't like it wasn't real good to me. It wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. It was okay, just okay, you know. And the Dark Knight Rises fell into that boring category, you know, where. Like I said, people was walking out, people was texting, talking, booing, like, it fell in that category, and Avengers was just awesome, so, like I said, um, not, <laughs> not, a, definitely not even a movie for kids, you know, it was a dark, it, 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 like, a dark story and shit, um, and kids would not enjoy it, it's, it's not a Batman even kids would enjoy, you know, um. The kids wanted to leave the theaters and go back into the arcade outside the movie theater. That it, that's how that's how it, that's how it was. Listening to the kids behind me and on side of me and shit like that. <laughs> like I said, it was a very slow movie. But then again, that was just my opinion. Maybe <laughs> that was just a bad theater we went to. You know, a lot of people just didn't enjoy it. But to the people who did enjoy it, please leave me a comment down below and tell me why. You know, please tell me how, why did you like it? You know, I'm very curious to hear what you guys think. And anybody else who's seen it, tell me your thoughts on it as well. G4 Lita here, signing off. Thank you guys for watching.